everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to go uh, and build a station and a port and connect the two together. And then we'll have a look at doing the, the whole route for transporting stuff from one place to another. So let's get started. So here's the where I'm going to set everything up and I've got everything that we need to do one of these in here. So I'm going to take everything out of here and we'll start, we'll start with it straight away basically what i've got to do is i'm going to lay some track down i'm going to do uh, some bits and pieces with that track what's going to happen is we want a train to come say down through here and then go around a um a loop and go oh, back again and picking up stuff so what i've got here is a hole <laughs> but what i want to do is i want to put down in front of here a um hopper let's go up again what we used to do is to stand on this there's a little bit prepared and there's just there may even be a boat. <laughs> if I can get on the iron rail like this, it's not always easy. Huh. Right, good. So there is a um, hopper duct. And what I'm going to do is I want to put this, I think I need to put it one block away from this. So it's all set up and it's facing this direction here like that. And I want the hopper to go down here like that. Oh, no, I don't have too far. Let's break this up again. Yeah, I've got my magnet on, I think. I needs to be on here. So I need to put the hopper on this bit here. So it's actually sitting one block below the water. Like that. So anything we put in there is going to go through these hopper ducts. And the hopper ducts are just running underneath here. And they're going to come out here. In fact, there's the one you can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on top of this um, a cargo station. But I can't do that directly. So I'm just going to put down a block. So that's got nothing in it. This has got some dirt in it. It'll do just fine. And I'm going to put it down here. Like that. Then I could put the cargo manager in front of this. So we'll put the cargo manager in front of this like this. And I've got the cargo manager here. Like that. I didn't remove the dirt block now. So we can now come underneath here. And that's wrong. <laughs> I've done it wrong. Sorry. I knew it would do. This is where it's going to come up and I want to put the cargo manager here so it's going to be able to run the copper ducts into the cargo manager so let's just do that where's it gone to so the hopper ducts are going to come this way and they're going to go and I also want to put on top of this an external distributor like that so the hoppers are going to go running from here so we want them to be running into this so I want to basically put one on there, so I hold down shift. And they go down this hole. I can't get down this hole anymore, so I've got to go through this way. Now I'm going to turn on night vision so we can see better when I'm underwater. I'm just going to move along towards where this hopper duct is. There it is. So I want to go up here, if I can, that is. Um, it's not always easy. And I'll attach these onto there like that. So one more, and it attaches then down onto this one here. So it's then all connected together going in that direction let's come out of here now so if we put something now into this hopper into this hopper duct here into this hopper I mean doesn't matter what we put, put a piece of dirt in there like that so we got it's gonna come around here and it's going to end up in this one here like this there's our dirt so now we have to link this external distributor to the cargo manager so first of all we need to go to the cargo manager and middle click this one a couple of times like this so i want the colors that's the way i prefer to have it than anything else so now so what we want is it to be in one of these two these faces so first of all we're going to have a look we're going to just put down some track so we want to, so we say coming from here like this, we'll place this track down like this and go around this block here like this. We just place the track going around it. And as you can see, it curves around this like that. And then we want it to go off in this direction. Obviously what's going to happen now is it's going to, the train's going to track, the cart's going to come here and it's just going to loop around this all the time. So we just need to change the direction of this um, piece. So we use the railroad wrench for doing that. So right click that. I just have to do it once as this happens. So it's going to come in here first and then go around here. So the first side it's going to touch is the yellow face here. So I would like to unload the cart 
on the yellow face. Um, so when I unload the car, I want that to go out of the system. But on, on the other side here, I want to load the car. From, I want to load the car. We've got choices. We can do it from the green or the blue. So anything coming from the boat has got to go into the side that exports the items from here to the cart, which is going to put the blue face on here. So it's coming in on the red set face, and we have to link those together. So what is coming in here is we want to link this now into the blue face. So we'll just drag this into that like that. So that's the blue, the blue side. I had trouble with this first of all. Basically, these are the faces of the external distributor, and these are the, the blocks or the, the segments they go into the cargo manager. So if we now look here, we should have one part, one piece of dirt in the, in here. In fact, we actually should just make sure this is actually going from the only from the storage slots and not anywhere else and also in here as well we'll also make sure that the other side is yellow so that only comes from storage shots and that's going to be importing so we want this to go from here from the cart and this is going to the cart these other faces don't matter actually did i do that wrong no i got it right so the yellow face we have to do some more complicated stuff to get that out but what we need to do first of all is to place down a another block here it's very important i didn't do this probably should have done this first i need to place down um a waterborne comparator here and what this is going to do and i'm just going to place it on this facing this direction like that if i can do it uh i think I just have, yeah there we go all the, all this does is it will stop the boat that comes from over here and come and anything that's in here in the boat will be put into this hopper so and it'll and the boat will stay there until this hopper is uh, to it until it's empty so that's the unloading part of this so it takes it goes into here then it goes through into this and it ends up on this side the other side is it comes in here now we need to basically put um a hopper down here but what i would like to do is i'd like to put a roadstone uh, waterborne conductor it's really a relay so of sorts down here like this i want it to go on there and when this is red the boat will stop so um have i got a leave with me or redstone torch oh there's the boat just disappears around there oh maybe i've got one in my woven backpack let's have a look in the builder's backpack yes i've got one so we can then put this one down here and we can test it so we can simply put this down like this and turn it on. So now we know when it's got a red zone signal, the boat will stop here. We can leave that on for the time being while we prepare the next part of this. So this is where we need to get the stuff into the boat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put down a hopper. Face, just right click a hopper onto here like that and it points down onto the boat and the boat will actually stop here. Now the next problem is we need to get we need to turn this on only when the boat is the, um, when it's got stuff in the hopper. So obviously the way we're going to do that is to remove this. I can remove this now. Is to use a comparator on the hopper or or whatever's equivalent. Um, I need some building blocks. Have I got some building blocks around here? I should have some with me actually. Maybe I didn't bring them with me this time. It um, doesn't matter very much. We'll use dirt for the time being, and I'll replace them with something nicer later on. So we need to basically put down some dirt or building blocks here. Actually, hold on a second. Not thinking. I've got maybe I've got some in here that would do. Uh, what have I got here? Ebony wood planks. I'll do. I only need three anyway. So we can put three down here like this. The reason we're going to put three is I would like to put a comparator against this like that so we put down the comparator here and as soon as there's something in this um hopper that will turn on so let's just put one piece of dirt in this hopper like um right click the hopper and put one piece of dirt in it and you see that stays in the hopper and this has gone on now because it this signal here is going to be um proportional to the amount of items in here i don't want that i don't care how many items are in there all i wanted to do is to do turn on or off so we use a repeater so that repeater then gives it a 15 signal coming out of here doesn't tell you yet 
I need to pick up this because it's now in the way. So now I need to do is to put some redstone around here. So all I'm going to do is run some redstone around here like this. You need to come out one block extra and put it in here like that. And as soon as you do that, you'll see this is on. Now we take something out of here, like that dirt, it goes off. So we can put all of this dirt in here and it'll t stay on until that truck comes along from there. And so now we have to get the stuff that we, we get delivered um, into this cart. So we need to get stuff into this cart now. Um, so this is the input side. That's right. So, sorry, I'm talking rubbish. We need to be able to take this out and feed this into here. So the easiest way to do that is to use, well, actually, there's not very many choices in this pack. Big jump. <laughs> Try again. I want to get onto here. The only thing we really got is to move items as conveyor belts. So what I want to do is I want to put conveyor belts into here, and I need to do it on the bottom of this one here like this. So I should be able to right-click that on there, so I can. And then do it again. Now here comes the boat, and it's going to stop when it reaches one of these two items. I'm not sure what it's doing at the moment. It's jiggering around a bit. Uh, and then we're going to put this one onto here, so it extracts out of here like that. So you can see items are going to come out of here and get extracted. I'm not sure what the boat's doing. <laughs> ah, of course, it's night time, no pint. I've got to go to sleep because of the village over here. Now it's got a little bit of protection. i will see in a few seconds. Um, why didn't that work? When it's daytime, I have put up some sentry turrets to keep the villagers reasonably safe, but I can see that there's one somewhere over here. Let's just get to flight mode and do it that way. Where there's a village, there's a mob of some description. Oh, it's gone. And there's a couple over here. Oh, there's a spider over there. I don't care about that one. I'm not going to. It's only zombies we really need to be careful of. Um, and I've lit up all of these buildings anyway, so there shouldn't be anybody spawning in these buildings. But just double check it in case I've missed one. Yep. So there, there's the boat. All right, it's gone. I missed it but it should have taken all of the dirt out of this hopper now so it's got no hot no items in there and then basically that's almost it not quite so we need to basically one more thing we need to do is we need to link this here this yellow where it, stuff comes in to um the green side over here it's easy enough so it's the green face on this one wants to go to the yellow face on that one now we can test this easily enough First of all, we need to do two more things we need to put down here are the advanced detector rails to stop the carts when they come in. So I don't remember not to forget to do that like that. Turn off my jetpack, I don't need that. So as the cart comes in here, it's going to stop. It's going to unload itself. Let's put in this ebony wood in here like this. Um, sorry, it needs to go into the green side here. No, it needs to go to the yellow side. So that should then be taken out and you'll see it coming into here into this hopper like that wait a few seconds see it's now got the 21 ebony wood in here if i come around here and do something different there was also i saw a piece of dirt it's actually in the blue one i think i've missed blue and yellow no that's correct so if I put something in the hopper, it's going to end up in the yellow in the yellow f section over here. Oops, that was a bit strange. That disappears off, and it should come in here into the oh the blue side, of course, because that's where it takes the stuff out of. So there we have it. That's working. So now we'll just go over to the other side and have a look at the uh, the whole process. So we've got, as we see, we here we have got uh, one dirt and. 21 ebony wood planks now they're going to come over back and what i've done here is to set up the route for the for the boat was all i've done is i've used uh the golden tickets and set up a whole load of markers you can see on the mini map i've got some markers on here but if we go and have a look and press um have a look at the journey map get it right you can see here we've got some markers in here so if I, ex if I zoom in on this a bit, we can see them better. So I've got three markers. I've got five, six, and seven. And this is where it's coming in from. And it's going to come in from position four, which is here. Now, this may or may not work. 
because actually this is going to be okay here and this is going to be oddly enough it's going to be okay the reason i say it's okay is it's got the word ocean you can't see that but the biome that we're in i just turned off the genie map didn't i um is an ocean and that doesn't freeze that's important to remember that ocean doesn't freeze i might have to move and over the side is still ocean and position seven my i might need to move position seven because if i get to beach it will freeze in the winter time so here we have river river will freeze yeah so i need to move position seven i can do it somewhere sensible like this so let's just move position seven um let's just add a new one here um no let's edit it so where are we 840 so it's four minus 460 is what we want it to be oops i need to get that the right way around right edit so it's 62 so minus 460 here will be about the place i want it to be which is now here so when i come then you see it's just directly beside me here the boat's going to come out here and then turn around and go off to position eight so let's go and here's the boat hello boat so it's now unloading this stuff as you can see and as soon as it does that it's now going to go to the old position seven because we haven't changed the ticket yet and then turn around and then disappear off so i'm going to just put my um jet boots on again in the non-builder mode and non-builder mode you just press space and you travel like uh really very fast and you'll see this boat is now traveling to position nine so we can follow it down here all i've got to watch out for is i don't go to beach when i'm traveling this position oh sorry position eight which is here or just in front of me now the boat will come along here and it will turn at this point now here it is it's going to turn as it gets here to faith to go to the next position which will be position 10. there it is you saw it turn so now it's going over to position 10 which is just down here oh, this is deep ocean ocean and position 9 is here and you'll see here i've built a dock and i'm hoping that this dock there's a funny place for a horse is um still in ocean but it might be beach i can't remember exactly where it starts there we are beach so beach is here so we basically i've covered the beach area with glass so that it doesn't freeze so let's just turn off my jetpack now we should see the boat coming back here and it's going to come in here and then it's going to drop the stuff off into here now we should already see that 58 dirt that's been put into there let's put these rails into here they go into the red red face of it oops i need to turn my magnet off try that again <laughs> they can go into the red the red face and they're going to go off here and they're going to be dropped out now here's the boat if we have a look quickly look at the inventory you'll see it's just been taking the wood out of there it's stopping on this one finished it's empty so it's now loading up again and as soon as it's loaded up it will disappear off the same mechanic supply so in here we should see the 21 ebony and everything's disappeared in here as we saw and in this hopper now there is nothing there it's empty so that boat's going off there and it's now going to send to that place there so now all we've got to do is to get the track trained come around here and take the items out of here um and bring them back to base so this, this is exactly the same here i've got the the blue face on this goes to the green face here so this is the blue face so any items coming out of here are going to be um sent to the, to the main station which is the green side and any items coming in which come in the red one are then going to go out of this face the yellow face so we have a look so the yellow face is where the red the red comes from here it goes out the yellow side like that so now I just got to go and find my car. I don't know what's happened to it. It should be running as it happens. Or maybe I've turned it off. So here is the end station. And in here we've got some stuff already, but I'll just remove this so we can see that everything happens as, as we expect it to happen. So there's nothing in here, but this has got um, four sides to this one. So here I've got some stuff for bridge materials. So I've put some stone bricks in there. And here I've got some stuff for railers. So I've got some rails in there. 
um, and this is a cargo manager so the only thing that's coming in is on the yellow face now it's very very important to make sure that the yellow face here is the first side to be taken out so you unload the cart before you load it up again it sounds sensible uh, it sounds obvious but if you look if you do it the other way around if you unload the cart here and then load it up here all you do is you move the stuff from one slot of the cargo manager to the other slot that's i found out <laughs> uh, <clears throat> never mind i wish i could set this up also to be a cargo one so you can see it working better so what you need to do is to send this cart off it's basically filled up with lava in here and it's got it's filled up with power actually it's got stacks of power i didn't realize it carried on charging up um i also put an information provider on here which gives it a, a name i don't actually know how to name it but there must be a way to do that probably uh, on an anvil or something like that i would guess and then we've got the fuel left we can display like this <laughs> so it's a modular car and you can't see the fuel anyway it's turned off because i've turned this off turn it on again it's going to go down there and it's going to pick up the stuff from the cargo manager let's go and beat it because you can run through these things they don't get in the way and it's going to take that stuff back oh, i should have put something in there shouldn't i um Let's have a look at this now so it's got some wooden dirt to take out of that and as you can see it's depositing those things first which is then now so the carts carts now have got that stuff in it if you click click a cart you can see it's got the stuff in it so now it's just going to deposit that back again and in order to if we wait a little bit longer No, actually, that's it, isn't it? If we do the last part of this, is to put something in here for it to be taken away. So the the one that takes it to the car is this one. So if we put in, say, three pieces of cobblestone in here and wait for this to come in here. So now it's taking out the... Oh, I think I've done that the wrong way around. That's right. So this should have should now have in it if I get close enough the three cobblestones. Yes, I did do that the wrong way around. So there it goes off again. Now that's basically it. There is one more thing to look at, and that is this setup here. I had the sort of um, the drilling cart and the one that lays down the track, and I made a mistake. Basically. I've got a new one we'll have a look at that next time but this one at the moment is but you can see here I've got a squeezer from forestry with some phosphor and some sand in it and that's making lava so one sand and two phosphor make two buckets of lava they're coming into this cargo manager on the green side and going out the red now the red's this side actually that's the wrong way around isn't it it doesn't matter because I've set them all up so they're all linked so you put lava in any one it goes to all of those sides like that the other one here is water now this cart the, the transport cart you saw that doesn't need water it's got a thermo engine in it so um that comes out the green side yes exactly sorry i missed i should have said that it comes out the green side here it comes and you see this one's got lava in it and it fills itself up twice obviously it don't have to do it like this you could send the cart off on a different route going back again like that So now it's taken it's taken those last time didn't it but if we put those there we should actually be able to go back down to the other base uh, and have a look and we should have those three cobblestone in there so let's go and quickly do that i'll do that off camera see you in a second here we are just coming into the this base again so in here we should find three cobblestone um not yet because i think the boat didn't have it that time so oops I did actually some something in here that I didn't expect to see. Hold on a second. Dirt and track. Where did that come from? I'm not 100% sure. I didn't expect to see that. Oh, maybe we put it in. I don't remember. Let's send those out there. So they're going to go back. Oh, we did, didn't we? Put those tracks in there. See, I'm standing on this waterborne comparator and it's, it's sinking down. Actually, what I'm doing is a it's sort of transparent uh a transparent block so they're in there now ready to go out next time 
Anyway, I think that's it, isn't well, it? Well, I've been waiting for this boat to come along, see if it's got the stuff in it that we need to empty out of it. Ah, oh, probably too slow for this. Oh, yes, there it's going. It's emptying the ebony wood out of here. So that will now be in here, as you can see. And we also got the three pieces of cobblestone that we sent off to do it last time. So. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Next episode, we'll be going off and doing some more um, railing, I think. Getting, trying to get this this jungle base, or this base from on here, linked up to the jungle base. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.